Yeah, just want to make here today again. It's another video I'll just quickly do for you. This is on the um, here's my little mini mo, and here's its big brother. Now, this is the, the premium brand. Now, this one here's had a, had a hard life, it's only got believe it or not, it's only got about 250 hours on it. But she's uh, she's been up a fair few dry gullies in a day, I can tell you. Give you a quick rundown on this. This thing's got headlights, you've got this has got a um, V twin Kawasaki on it. Um, I think it's 16 horsepower, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, very good motor. Don't have to go on about rabbit on about Kawasaki motors, everyone knows they're good. Uh, there's your fuel tank up there. I think it holds about oh, I think it's about eight litres, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, your deck adjustment here is in. That just lifts it up and down. That's a uh, 34 inch deck on this one. That's your blade engagement. And uh, that's pretty simple. That's engaged. That's disengaged. The drive system's exactly the same under this as my little fella. So it's all the same as you can see. I didn't say this here, this part here, that spring and that, you see that's self adjusting. So um, if your belt start to slip, you just give that a tap on the end there with the hammer and it's on a ratchet type sawtooth type setup, straight sawtooth and that's what uh, adjusts that so that just puts more load on the belt but all this here, it's like I said my little mower it's I think about 32 centimetres across the disc here one spins one way, one spins the other you've seen all that on mine um, better quality seat on this one uh, so call it a fast cut 34 this is a mini mo 25 and they did do a 27 I think in the mini mo's these they go up to a I think it's a 44 inch and they also have you can unlock and lock the diff up so he has his diff locked all the time all right. So, if you have a look at that there, that diff's unlocked now, so it's just an open one-wheel drive. And then you just flick that across. Now the diff's locked into a solid axle like this. And that's a solid axle across there. So now that effectively is a solid axle. So if you want to, if you're on level ground, and you want not to chew up at all, this is, you just unlock that. This is a cast aluminium deck on this one. Same as my little mini mo. Got anti scout wheels on all four corners. Blades are absolutely stuffed on this, as you can see. Um, they're just swing back blades. Um, and that deck is thick. Like this, this mower here has had a, had a hard life and hit plenty of rocks. Um, cast aluminium or cast aluminum in the American side of things uh, he's blowing a hole through there as you can see but um, I'd say that's been a blade up into there uh, but like I say the owner of this mower gives it a hard time way harder than than I would so you can see that's that's had the dick through there uh, all this is all self-explanatory. Like I say, it's got 239 hours on it. Greenfield, Australia. This, uh, like I say, that just flips up. That's fully adjustable seat. It's got a big split in it. All the rest of it is a uh, heavier version of this little mini mo. All greasable on the kingpins. All that is actually the same size. Just looking at the mini mo. Um, all the axles through here um, it's got a bit of positive uh, it's got toe out on it I've just I've just adjusted it to try and get it towing a bit better because it's steering all over the countryside but um, you, know, you can isolate the fuel off there there's a lot of good things on these mowers uh, like I said back again handbrake there this one's actually got a foot brake so if you're going up and down steep hills you can relieve the drive system a little bit with your foot brake. Um, and 
really there's not much more I can say about these particular mowers except they are a very well made mower but if you see the fellow that owns this he gives it a hard time and um, oh it's got lights on it uh, like I said that mower there I think you know, a new one I, I had one the same 16 horse in it and you can get them up to a 24 or 25 back in the day you could get Kawasaki engines, you get Honda engines, you get Briggs, and you could get Honda, Kawasaki, Briggs, and Kohler. So I think now it's only Briggs and Stratton on these. Cox has since bought them out, and they don't make these little fellas anymore. But you can sort of see there's a big difference in size. Uh, this little mow here does an exceptionally good cut on the lawn. And, well, you got the swing back blades there. It's got four. These actually little mowers are effectively they're mini, mini. I don't know what you'd sort of say, like a mini mouse, but they're like actually like a rat because they're they're a rat in a mouse's bloody clothing because they're just built really really thick and strong, the same as the big one, except it's only a seven or eight horsepower engine. So all the drive system is exact same size as that big one. Like I say, they'll handle up to 25 horse. And there's a bank down there I've been coming up and down on that. It's bloody steep. But anyhow, that's uh, really not much we can say more about these. Is except, as you can see, it's a big difference in size. And this actually feels like a big mower to ride in. It doesn't feel like a monster mower, but it does feel like a big mower. And uh, if you're looking out over the bonnet, you're looking over a lot bigger bonnet, more flat bonnet, as this one slopes down. Anyhow, on that, there's a comparison between a, I think a 16 on this, or it could even be a 20, I'm not sure what, how many horsepower it is. But it's got bloody heaps of grunt, and like I said, he's never had any trouble with it, and it gets a hard life. That's my name, Mickey, out.